Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this stylized leaf that also looks like uh, book pages. All right, first thing first, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke. Make sure that uh, you select the color to the stroke. Now go and select the circle, which is located right here. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And also you can see the stroke is inside. So I gotta go to the stroke options here and select align stroke to center. Okay, I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, which is this one. I'm gonna select this anchor point and I'm gonna drag it up and also press shift so it isolates. And from here, I'm gonna go and select the anchor point. Usually the pen tool is on the top and the anchor point tool is on the bottom. So select it and click here on this anchor point. So it's gonna make it sharp. I gotta go to the direct selection tool again, select this anchor point and pull it up and also press shift, press and hold. So make it really curvy. I also gonna pull this a little bit more. I gotta press control R so you're gonna see the ruler here. I'm gonna drag the ruler, long click, and just drag it here where the handle ends. So I'm gonna select this anchor point and I'm gonna pull the handle up until they intersect with the guy line. From here, I'm gonna go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. Let me see, I'm gonna make eight copies. I'm gonna go minus nine with the angle. Horizontal, it's gonna be 14. And vertical, actually not even 14, because I'm gonna, I, I gonna need to decrease it. For every measurement, basically it's different. But for example, in my case, 11 by five is pretty good. I'm gonna click OK. From here, go to the object, expand appearance. Uh, I'm gonna press Shift plus X, or you also can swap from stroke to fill, so you can swap it with these arrows. I'm gonna press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool. Now press and hold Alt and just click to eliminate some of the interior part. Okay, right now everything is grouped. I'm gonna right click and ungroup it and I'm gonna select this one and remove it, put it here and I can delete the rest. And there you go. This is how you create a leaf also combined with, you know, book pages. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.